Hey guys, it's Channel Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what's probably the greatest weapon in Halo Infinite so far. So, this weapon, it is a secret weapon, and you'd have to go through a few steps to, to acquire it. But it's not too difficult to acquire it, and it works on any difficulty, and it is... Well, like I said, it is probably one of the best weapons in the entire campaign right now. And it actually makes Legendary and probably even Lasso difficulty very easy. So, all you need to do is just get to the point in the campaign where you get to Outpost Harmonious. And you have to do this at the very beginning of the campaign. If you come back to the Outpost later, uh, these switches here won't be here. But anyways, the first switch will be right behind the building that you come out of. And it's... Uh, you just press it and that's it. And there's a... There'll be dead marines at each of the uh, switches. So that's how you do... Let's say no in the right track. And you can also scan for it. It'll show up on the scanners. Uh, but the next switch is on this top part of the mountain here. It's uh, inside the uh, crash frigate. So you just got to make your way up from this side over here. And obviously you can do all this with your grapple shot. And just uh, quickly make your way up. And on legendary, you might have to clear out a few enemies first. But it's... Uh, it's not too hard, and once you get up here, it's pretty, it's pretty safe. There's no other enemies up here that you need to worry about. So, yeah, just make your way up the rocks here, and then grapple up here again, and make your way inside the ship. So, just uh, come around the corner here, and there it is. The next switch is right here. There's the Marine's body, and all you do is just press this switch. As far as I know, there's no time limit, so you could take your time, especially if you're on Legendary, you need to clear out enemies or something. So just, you know, don't worry about that too much. After that, just make your way back down, and we're gonna make our way towards the front of the ship for the last button. There's only three buttons we have to press. So that's two, and the third one will be right by the first cannon on the side of the ship. Not this here, but uh, right over here by that dead marine body. Just press that button, and once you press it, you're all good. So to get the weapon, well, before we pick it up, first, this cannon here will fire a few shots randomly. And then, if you look over here, you gotta clear all those enemies down there to finish this part of the mission. But you don't have to do that anymore. Now, there's like an orbital strike that just comes out of nowhere and pretty much just destroys all the enemies there. So you can just let that happen. But once you're ready to take the weapon and uh, you can grab it any time. It doesn't actually interfere with the uh, the orbital strike, but it's just right here at the tip of the left barrel of this cannon. You see, it's just like hold B to pick up. There's no name for it because it's just the uh, it's not a weapon you're normally supposed to be to use. And you might have seen it in my uh, one of my previous videos about weapons you're not normally supposed to use. It's just the scorpion tank weapon that scorpion tanks have equipped, and it's a uh, it's not like a like a special like weapon just for this. It's actually it's actually used all the time for the scorpion tank, but now you can actually pick it up and use it and It uh, yeah, it is really good. It's it has infinite ammo It's the splash damage doesn't even, doesn't even hurt yourself and on easy difficulty against bosses. It's like It like destroys bosses so quickly like you can nearly one-shot bosses It's just like on easy like depending on the boss it takes like two or three hits to kill the bosses and even on legendary difficulty like let's let's try this boss here against Chacklock. He uh, yeah, it's um, it does a lot of damage. It, it, he can eat a few more shots, even like direct hits, than he would on easy difficulty. But it's uh, it's overall not that hard. And using this cannon, I was able to beat this boss in under a minute. And according to my count here on my recording. Just a little over 40 seconds is all it took to beat this boss on legendary difficulty using this weapon. And you can carry this weapon throughout the entire campaign. Just keep it in your secondary and never drop it. If you drop it, it's gone. And there's no way to get it back. So you have to hold on to it the entire time. So it's going to occupy your secondary weapon slot forever, pretty much. But yeah, so there you guys have it. And a big thanks to Brent Gift Bagley, who actually showed me this on Twitter. It's uh, It was actually really, uh, really awesome. A really great find there. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully you guys found this to be helpful and useful and it should help in your legendary run and lasso runs too. But if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like, leave a thoughts and comments, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!